Hey guys, it's Doug Nitwood here. I'm here with uh, the Slap Her, Slam Her, Slap Her, Slam Her? Uh, this, I don't know what they, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what they did with this name, but Slap Her, Slam Her? I mean, come on guys. Yeah, I get, I, I get, never mind. I, I, way off track. That name just totally mind messed me right there. Like, woo! Out of this world. So, all right, guys, we're here with the the Sonoff Wi-Fi smart lamp uh, holder. It, it it seems like a very simple device, but if you got a light that's an awkward position that you want to make smart, this is your awesome go-to. Um, I'm gonna do an unboxing really quick here, and uh, we'll go through kind of what's in the box, how to set it up, and a simple install, and uh, it should be a really short video. It's a very simple device. You just got to get the ladder out once, put this in there, sync it up. Go, you know, make sure everything's done correctly, and then, you know, you're off to the, you're off on, you're flying. So we'll open this guy up, see what's all in here. So first time, uh, first we got a QC pass thing. That's important, you know, make sure it's working. Um, looks like we got instructions. Uh, it looks like we got some more instructions. And then we have the actual device. Now I have not looked in to see if these are flashable to work with MQTT and Home Assistant, because that's what I use. Um, so I just got this to give you guys a review. I hope it's flashable because I got a sconce outdoor light that's up two stories and it'd be really, really nice to make it smart. Um, so that's this guy. I don't think this guy's waterproof, but you know, this is an awesome device. So this is what uh, pretty much all comes into the box. It's, it's almost like a the size of a, a a light bulb box here, you know, so that's what's in there. So, all right, guys, I'll get all, I'll stop blabbing and I'll get into the install over here and we'll get this guy plugged in and, you know, we'll go. Um, but some uses for this guy, you can, for instance, like you got a chandelier that's, that's, you know, vaulted ceilings. You could put one of these, instead of having to take the chandelier down and put a device in the box, you could just, you know, play it the cheap and simple way. Um, I'm guessing because it's sewn off that it's flashable, just about 90% of their devices are. Um, of course, I will check on this and then probably throw in text to tell you if it is in the video right below, somewhere like right here. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, it's a really easy and simple device. You know, um, almost seems kind of goofy that they had, you know they even had to make it, but you know. So, all right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing installed and. Uh, you know, we'll go from there. All right, do you... All right, guys, we're gonna get this guy installed. I'll show you how to do it, and then we'll go all through the install. And I mean, it's it's a really simple, easy install. It's almost as simple as uh, the 10 minute, uh, you know, lamp and uh, device, uh, Sonoff Basic R3, which that's a cool device. I got like 10 of those in my house, and I got some more downstairs that I'm gonna be futzing around with adding sensors too. So if you want to see some of the more advanced stuff, just keep watching my videos. And, uh, you know, if you want to be notified, subscribe, of course, but, uh, you, you're going to, you're going to like it because I'm going to be hooking up uh, a door sensor. Anyway, I, I'll stop talking about it. Just watch the videos and you'll see, you'll see, you'll like it. So pretty simple. Just coming on, screw this bulb. I feel like I feel kind of jealous or, or, or feel kind of bad. Like I'm not making enough content because this, this this video could literally be shot in like a minute. So it's that simple. You plug it in. There's a light that's blinking right here, green. All right, there's a green light on here that uh, looks awesome. And it tells you that it's ready to be paired. And then we're just gonna plug the bulb in. And, it's, and that's simple. It is that simple. And then let's test it. We'll hit the, hit the light. I don't know. Keep bumping the damn switch with my folder. And there we go. All right. So at this point, you guys are going to get your smartphone out. And we're going to pull up the EWE Link app. Or if you don't have it installed yet, you're going to go to the Google Play Store. And you're going to do EWE Link. I'll have it right here in the bottom somewhere. And then, uh, yeah, we'll pull it up. So... Go to a shot on my phone really quick right here and then uh, just walk you guys through this. So come right here, hit you. Uh, pop up for you. And then of course you're gonna 
hit the plus button, quick pairing. You'll have your network and stuff on there. Make sure that the green light's blinking on the device. Make sure it's doing two fast, one slow. So I'm gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Nope, it didn't go that time. There we go. Too fast, one slow, and that should mean we're in pairing mode. And then you're gonna you're gonna bring you're gonna have your device at uh, where you type in your network and SSID, and you're gonna hit next, and it's gonna say connecting. And we're just gonna wait for it to connect. And uh, while it's uh, doing that, let's talk about some other stuff here. Um, yeah, the door sensor video is gonna be really cool using a uh, Sonoff Basic hook up a door sensor. Um, I know another YouTuber did it, and I know I'm kind of kind of copying him. That's kind of the world I just came out of with security. So I have a bunch of sensors laying around that I got no use for. So I'm gonna do a real nice install um, at my front door and or my side door and then my patio door. Um, of course, I got to put a sconce up and another smart switch and and do some wall fishing. Um, so it's probably gonna be a couple months or a month or two before I even do that because I got to cut the siding, do a sconce, and a bunch of other crap. So. Um, there we go. I found the device. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to type in test wall. Of course, because it's our new test wall, the TechNet with test wall. And because uh, that's where it is. Test wall, hit done, hit complete. And then you should be able to control that light. There we go. And that's pretty much the install. It is uh, literally that simple. So um, yeah, guys, if you guys like this device and you wanna know more, put ask some stuff in the comments below, other uses or wanna talk about it, you know, go right ahead. Uh, that's This has pretty much been a Technic Web Productions and thank you guys for joining me. Um, and thank you to the 11 subscribers I have. You know, you guys are, are awesome. Thanks. Technic what up. Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.